is Darren McCulley with Professional Control Corporation. Today I'm going to show you how to insert a S120 with a CU320-2 into your project and the, and the CU320-2 controls um, a couple uh, power modules that are block size power modules, so a PM240-2. So I'll go to my add a new device, drives, S120, control unit, CU320-2, choose the correct firmware version, OK. And then I need to go display my hardware catalog. And under power modules, I got a PM240-2. So I'll drag a couple of those over. And we'll say I've got drive click motors. I'll drag a couple of those over. Hide that so I can see more over here. So the CUA, I have to choose which one it is. I'll say it's the CUA 31. Now that turns gray. Same with this one. And the power module, I can choose which power module it is. Um, let's go down to PE, whatever. Choose that one. And power module. Choose that one. Then if you go to the power module, go to the details, tell it what the supply voltage is. We'll, we'll say 480 volts for that one. And this one, 480 volts. The motor will be read out when I download this project to the drive. And then I can just go to my control unit and this network to my PLC, get the right IP address that I want, and the right Profinet device name. If I have a telegram that I want for the control unit, I can choose that, and then assign telegrams to my drives. Let's say telegram 105. And that's all there is to adding a S120 with the CU320-2 controlling uh, multiple power modules that are block size format. Um, thank you very much. Bye.